Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Regular Learning Academy. I am Dr. Krishna Sarkar, Department of Electrical Engineering. Here in this session, I will be going to discuss about on-off nonlinearity or relay nonlinearity. Describing function analysis, this is nonlinear control systems, lecture number three. So our topic's name, on-off nonlinearity or relay nonlinearity. Then what is on-off nonlinearity? Basic idea of non-on-off nonlinearity, relay operating principle, basic idea of input and output for describing function, and input and output characteristics for on-off relay, Fourier analysis for on-off relay, calculation of harmonic coefficients for on-off relay, basic idea of event function and odd function, describing function of on-off relay, conclusion and future direction of on-off relay. So what is on-off or relay nonlinearity? This is the input-output characteristics curve for on-off nonlinearity. In this x-axis, this is input where x of t equals to capital X sin omega t and out of output equals to y of t and magnitude of output either plus m or minus m. Basic idea of on-off nonlinearity. The input-output relationship for an on-off or relay nonlinearity is plotted in figure one. This is the input-output nonlinear system. Since this nonlinearity is single valued, we expect the describing function to be a real function of the input. The on-off nonlinearity is obtained called two-position nonlinearity, either positive nonlinear or negative output. This is the positive and this is the negative output. The output of this element is either a positive constant or negative constant. This is positive constant output. This is negative constant output. For any positive input, that means xt when greater than zero, that, that condition always positive output and when xt less than zero, then negative output. So relay operating circuit. What is the circuit diagram? This is the relay operating circuit diagram. On-off relay, basic connection diagram of the on-off relay, where this is the infinite bus bar, and this section, circuit breakers, and this is the current transformer, or CT, and this is the fault location, this is the load, and this is the trip coil, and this is relay coil, and plunger, this is the plunger and this is battery. So what is relay? The relay is the protective device that open or closes the contacts to cause the operation of the other circuit control or electric control. It detects the undesirable condition or fault with an assigned area and gives the commands to the circuit breaker to disconnect the affected area, thus protects the system from damage. And this, so this is the circuit breaker and this section, this is the fixed contact and this is moving contact. When normal operation, when normal condition, the CT off position, but when faulty condition and this circuit or CT energized, so relay coil also energized, and this plunger downwards, also moving contacts down, moving, moving contacts this direction. So this is open and protect the load. This is actually intentional nonlinear systems. And this nonlinear relay intentionally introducing the system for better performance or higher efficiency. It works on the principle of electromagnetic 
condition. Basic idea of input and output for on-off relay. This is the basic block diagram for on-off describe on-off circuit. On-off circuit. This is on-off relay, and this is filter circuit. This is the feedback element, and R is always sinusoidal. So input of the nonlinear element always sinusoidal. This is the on always sinusoidal. The output of the nonlinear element is in general not sinusoidal. So output of the on-off relay not sinusoidal. This is not sinusoidal. The output is periodic with the same period as the input. The output contains higher harmonics. In this position, the contains higher harmonics. In addition to the fundamental harmonic components. This is the input signal, always sinusoidal. Red line, always sinusoidal. This is input. And yellow line, error signal. And this is the on-off output. When x of t greater than zero, this is the positive output. When x of t negative, then this is the negative output or this magnitude equals to plus m and this magnitude equals to minus m. Basic idea of on-off describing function. This is the block diagram for on-off describing function where R is in the describing function analysis. We assume that only the fundamental harmonic component of the output is significant. Since the higher harmonic in the output of the nonlinear element are obtained of smaller amplitude than the amplitude of the fundamental harmonic component. In addition, most control systems are low pass filter with the result that the higher harmonics are very much attenuated compared with the fundamental harmonic components. So this block on off relay and the output always non-sinusoidal. And this is the non-minimum phase or filter circuit. This filter stable because all the poles and zeros left hand side of the S plane. And this filter attenuate the higher order harmonics. So this is the basic idea of the on off relay. And total circuit diagram or total output input output characteristics input output characteristics curve for the on off nonlinearity this is the input output curve this section input section and this is the output section this is the positive output this is negative output there so this is the input sinusoidal or this is input sinusoidal input sinusoidal x of t equals to capital x sin omega t where x equals to this magnitude so 0 to pi positive and pi to 2 pi negative. And this is the 0 to pi positive plus m and pi to 2 pi negative m. So this is the output y of t. So this is not sinusoidal, but same periodic. When all the higher order harmonics are attenuated, then this is the fundamental output of t. So y1 t equals to fundamental output and y1 t equals to y1 sin omega t. This is the fundamental output and this is the harmonic output y of t. This section harmonic output. Input and output signals for on of relay. Input signal. The input to the nonlinear element or on off always sinusoidal. So xt equals to capital X sine omega t. What is the input diagram? This is the input rates, red line. This is the input signal. X of t equals to capital X sine omega t. This magnitude equals to capital X. And yellow line error signal. This is the error signal. And this is the output y of t. After harmonic elimination, this is the sinusoidal fundamental output. 
this is the fundamental output so x equals to amplitude capital x equals to amplitude of the input sinusoid output signal with such an input the output of the nonlinear onop relay will in general be non sinusoidal periodic function the output is seen to be symmetric over the four quarters of the period the output from this non linearity is either a positive constant or negative constant always plus m or minus m positive or negative the output is expressed as what is the output expression this is the output expression this is the output expression y of t equals to plus m 0 to pi and y t equals to minus m pi to 2 pi output signal for on off relay what is the output signal the output of the non linear element will in general be non sinusoidal periodic function which may be expressed in terms of fourier series as follows y of t equals to a0 by 2 this is the dc component and summation of n equals to 1 to infinity a in cos n omega t plus b n sin n omega t this is cosinusoidal component and this is sinusoidal component if the non linearity is assumed to be symmetrical the average value of y of t is 0 so that the output y of t is up then given by y of t equals to a0 equals to 0 for symmetrical a0 equals to 0 then the output to n equals to 1 to z infinity a n cos n omega t plus b n sin n omega t this is the output when symmetric that means dc component equals to 0 fundamental output signal for on off relay it can be assumed to be good degree of accuracy that all the harmonics of the filter out in the process such that y of t the input to the non linear element n is mainly contributed by the fundamental component of y of t or y n t y one t under such condition the harmonic component of y t can be thrown away from for the purpose of analysis and the fundamental component of y t equals to y on t this is the fundamental output y on t and y on t equals to what y on t equals to u1 cos 1 omega t and b1 plus b1 sin 1 omega t put just n equals to 1 so y1 sin of omega t plus i1 this is the fundamental output output signal for on off relay as shown in figure 4 the output is an odd function for an odd function we have a n equals to 0 this is the odd function this is the odd function so a n equals to 0 so plus m minus m this is the odd function so a n equals to 0 then y of t equals to again n equals to 1 to infinity bn sin n omega t when fundamental put bn equals to n equals to 1 then the fundamental harmonic component of y1 t or y of t is equals to equals to b1 sin omega t b1 equals to harmonic coefficient so calculate first b1 so what is the v1 v1 equals to 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi y of t function and sin omega t d omega t then 2 by pi 0 to pi just limit change 0 to pi integration property so multiplying by 2 y of t sin omega t d omega t and also 0 to pi what is the output omega t that is 0 to pi then y of t equals to 
m. So put here m and then integrate b1 equals to 2 by pi 0 to pi m sin omega t d omega t put just y of t equals to m. Then b1 equals to 2m by pi 0 to pi sin omega t d omega t b1 equals to 2 by 2m by pi minus cos omega t 0 to pi then b1 equals to 4m by pi. This is the coefficient b1 magnitude 4m by pi. The fundamental harmonic component of y1t is given by just put y1 value then y1t equals to 4m by pi sin omega t. This is the fundamental output y1t. This is the fundamental output for on-off relay. For on-off relay, the fundamental output y1t equals to 4m by pi sin omega t. Then calculate phase angle. Phase angle equals to phi. Phi equals to 10 inverse an by bn because an by bn equals to yn sin pi, yn cos phi then y1, yn cancel, sin phi by cos phi equals to tan phi, and phi equals to tan inverse, an by bn. Also, an equals to zero. So put here an equals to zero, then phi equals to tan inverse zero by bn equals to tan inverse zero, so phi equals to zero degree. So phase angle, phi equals to zero degree. Describing function for odd function. For odd function, the describing function is as n equals to y1 by x phi1 and for odd function a1 equals to 0, so 0 plus b1 square by x tan inverse 0 by b1 or b1 by x into 0 degree or nx equals to again b1 by x into 0 degree and n of x omega equals to again b1 by x into 0 degree. So what is describing function? for on-off relay. What is describing function? The describing function or sinusoidal describing function of a nonlinear element is defined to be the complex ratio of the fundamental harmonic component. Complex ratio of the fundamental harmonic component of the output to the input. That is describing function capital N equals to y1 by x into phi1, where capital N equals to what? Describing function. And N of x omega or only N equals to describing function with magnitude and frequency. Then X, capital X equals to amplitude of the sinusoid input. This is the amplitude of the sinusoid input. When you are equals to amplitude of the fundamental harmonic component of the output. And phi one equals to phase shift of the fundamental component. Then what is the describing function for on-off relay? Nx equals to y1 by x, zero degree, and a1 equals to zero, and y1 equals to b1, put here b1, so nx equals to b1 by x into zero degree, b1 by x into zero degree. And again, for if no energy storage element is included in the nonlinear element, then Describing function capital N is a function only of the amplitude of the input to the element. This is the only of the amplitude of the input. And when energy storage element is included, then describing function N is a function of both the amplitude and frequency of the input. This is the describing function N of x omega equals to y1 by x into phi1. So, so, therefore, the describing function for on-off relay is n of x equals to what? y1 by x into 0 degree and a1 equals to 0. So, y1 equals to b1, put b1, y1 equals to b1, then describing function n of x equals to b1 by x into 0 degree. Again, put b1 value 4m by pi, then 4m by pi x into 0 degree. This is the describing function output or on off relay, 4m by pi x into phase angle 0 degree. And describing function for on off relay, this is the n versus m by x characteristics graph. This is the n versus m by x. Clearly the describing function for the on off element is a real quantity 
and is a function only of the amplitude x, a plot of the describing function capital N versus M by X is shown in figure four. Thank you.